G'day folks, today we are going to go over the Mavic 2 bag that comes with the Fly More kit. And the reason I'm making this video is that there are a lot of people who are maybe on the fence about buying the Fly More kit because they're not sure if they want the bag or like the bag. So we're going to go over it in depth so that way you can get a good look at it and make an informed decision. Now I already kind of went over the bag fairly thoroughly in my unboxing video for the Mavic 2 Pro, but uh, I thought I'd make a separate video featuring just the bag because those of you who want to see a little bit more about the bag but don't want to sit through a 23 minute uh, introduction video. Right off the get-go when I opened this up I was quite pleasantly surprised just in its looks, you know, before I even got into it. Um, I think it's a really good looking bag. It's kind of a leathery material, uh, kind of rubberized a little bit, uh, but I really like the looks of it and it's nice and compact and small. I actually like it so much that I've been thinking about ordering a second one uh, to use with my Mavic Air because I'm not too happy with the Mavic Air bag. It works okay but I didn't really like the uh, material that they picked for it and it had that weird pocket on the back and those side things that all folded around and uh, just a little bit awkward in my opinion but this one is just uh, pristine. I actually like it so much in fact that I wish DJI would make a drone backpack styled right off of this uh, little case here. I think that would look really sharp. So anyways, let's uh, take a closer look at it. Right at the top there, you can see it says Mavic 2. You know, so that's kind of a nice touch. DJI logo on the front. So the first thing I'll show you here is it has two pockets on the side. Elastic top, and uh, they are expandable. And so you can fit uh, whatever gear in there that you want. Now we are going to pack this so you can kind of see what all it holds. Uh, but yeah, you could put your remote in there, uh, some of the charging cables, the charging brick, uh, the remote if you wanted, extra batteries. So yeah, lots of storage in those two pockets. Uh, the next thing you'll notice, it has a little zippered pocket on the front. And uh, it's a small little pocket, but you know, it's good for memory cards. Uh, ND filters could fit in there probably. And now when we open it up, I'll just kind of show you here. This is just like a security flap. It reveals another little pocket here that we can uh, open up. And I'll show you here, all the zippers have this kind of uh, weather stripping on it. Uh, so I checked the DJI website and I read the tags that come with it, but uh, there's no information whether they state that it's waterproof or water resistant or splash proof. But usually with this type of zipper and because of the material it's made of, I would have to say that it is splash proof, weatherproof, uh, not waterproof by any means, but uh, definitely if you get caught in the rain, you should be okay. So that's a nice touch as well. So anyways, we will open up that front compartment and you can see it's a fairly good size, a uh, great spot to put your ND filters again. You could fit in there, uh, cabling, uh, spare props, nice little, uh, pocket right there so now we will go into the main cavity here and we'll open it up and again it has that kind of water resistant um, cover over it so you know that's nice At the top here we have a little kind of mesh pouch with a zipper so again you could put little bits and pieces in there the joysticks memory um, cabling and uh, it's expandable stretchy so you know you could fit uh, something that's fairly bulky in there now inside the main cavity here we have two sides uh, this is the main cavity and that's typically where you're going to put your Mavic. On the side here, they have actually a really interesting kind of designed uh, pocket system. There's actually two levels to it. And uh, on this first level, you can see there's a little divider there. Let's kind of show it to you so you can see it. But that lifts up to reveal space underneath. And that's typically where they suggest you store your batteries. But the really nice thing about the way they've designed this, this pocket folds up and snaps into place can you see that it's like rigid and uh, when you fold it up it snaps into place and now it reveals just two large cavities so it's very flexible on how you pack it you know you may opt to leave that up and just stuff all your stuff in here um, maybe if you have two Mavics some people have bought the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Zoom you could put a drone on each side and just keep your batteries in the side here so uh, yeah that is actually quite handy. So all in all, I think it is a great bag. I definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, the Mavic Air bag, I was not very impressed with. In fact, I don't even use it anymore. Kind of just sitting on a shelf. But this one here is pristine. I think it's one of DJI's better designed bags. And like I said, I would love if they made a backpack with this kind of styling. 
I would definitely buy that. So anyways, let's pack this up. When you purchase the bag, it comes with this little tag on it, and it kind of gives you some ideas of how to pack it. And uh, sometimes it can be a little hard to understand because they've got different layers and everything. But uh, let's just go through and we'll pack things in here. Now, according to that tag, it's designed to have the Mavic, the unit slipped into the side there, just like that. You can see it fits in there quite nicely. And according to the website, this actually will hold four batteries. But again, you could put more batteries or you could put less, depending on what other kind of gear you want. If you're going to bring all your chargers and everything with you, you're going to have less storage space. But if you're not bringing the chargers with you, just you want a bunch of batteries, you could probably go upwards of six or seven batteries with all these pockets in that. So let's put in our spare batteries that come with the Flymore combo. So I'm going to put them on their side. I find they fit best like that. And we'll just put the one in first. If you can see that down in there. And then we'll put the second one in right beside it. And uh, they just fit in there nice and securely. Just like that. And then we will pop down our little storage divider there. So you can see that's now down. Remote control in the back pocket. It's a little bit smaller. Now you will notice, I'm going to tip this to the side so you can see. You can see that everything kind of sticks out a bit, but that's okay because this has a raised lip on it, so it's designed to still close. Extra props can go in the front there. Charging hub. I'm going to put the power brick in there like that. Car charger. We'll just stick in the side here. Again, this is stuff that you may not take with you all the time. Uh, if you're just out going to be flying, you know, you may not opt to bring your chargers. Then we got this little cable. I'll throw it in the front there, in this top pocket. Just like that. This other cable for the power brick, we could stick in the other side here. Or in the front, however we like it. And lastly here, we have the little adapter to turn the uh, batteries into a power bank. That can just go on the top. So there's still quite a bit of room. You know, we could fit a bit more stuff, a bit more cabling. A uh, smartphone could fit in there. And, um, you know, we've still got some uh, room. We could put a few more things. But we'll zip it up. So even with all that in there, it closes just nicely. Now, one thing I did forget to mention at the beginning, it does come with a shoulder strap as well. Some people like to use them, some people don't, so that is included as well. So yeah, folks, that is a Mavic 2 case. It'll fit the Pro or the Zoom, whatever version you have, or like I said, it could possibly fit both. This can be purchased separately on DJI's website for $79, and I'll include the links down below. I have my affiliate ID embedded into that. I really appreciate if you want to support my channel to purchase anything you buy from the DJI store through my affiliate link. If you enjoy my videos and my content and my tutorials, it's a great way to support my channel without actually spending any money. So I would really appreciate that. Anyways, folks, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you've been on the fence about the Flymore combo, weren't quite sure about the bag and whether it would be useful for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.